Sting of Death, a film from 1966, directed by William Greff, who also directed Death Curse of Tartu. This awesome double feature is brought to you by Something Weird Video. The film I will be reviewing is Sting of Death, a film from 1966, directed by William Greff. And we're talking about a giant mutant jellyfish monster man! <laughs> I'm getting so excited I'm knocking things over! <laughs> Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Thursday reviewer Chris from Chris B Movies. You know my name is Chris. And you know I love B-movies. B-movies just like Sting of Death, a film from 1966 directed by William Greff. <laughs> and yes, you heard me right. A giant mutant jellyfish monster man comes to life <laughs> to attack anybody who wades in his waters. <laughs> As we see in the beginning with this young girl who's like laying out in her bikini, and she jumps in the water for a swim and gets attacked by the big giant jellyfish monster man who drags her way beneath the sea. As he's dragging her, the opening credits come up to some nice, soft music. <laughs> I'm not joking here. <laughs> and then we meet the two doctors who are on this deserted island studying... Portuguese man of wars or <laughs> jellyfish, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> and we're talking about Dr. John Hoyt, played by Joe Morrison. And I'm telling you something, if Desi Arnaz Jr. never took the role of Ricky Ricardo, this guy could. I'm just saying. <laughs> this guy had me rolling with all those lines. And Dr. Richardson, Jack Nagel, who has a daughter, Karen, who also is studying to be a marine biologist. But she's taking a little vacation to visit her dad on the island. And she brought a bunch of her friends, and they just plan on partying and having a great time on this nice little deserted island. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, another marine biologist, Egon, has this facial deformity. And Karen's the only one that's really nice to him. Everybody else just picks on him because of his facial deformity. But he is an amazingly smart individual and a great marine biologist. Maybe even smarter than the two doctors, I must say. So Karen's friends are partying it up and then come to find out <clears throat> a bunch of other college students plan on coming in and joining in on the party and learning about marine biology. But in the meantime, there are a couple of fishermen that went missing. So one of the cops found one of the bodies of the fishermen and they bring him on shore to, so the doctors can see to find out what attacked him because his face is all chewed up and everything. And the doctors come to the conclusion that it was a Portuguese man of war, but it's impossible because Portuguese man of war are not big enough to produce that much damage. Hmm. But we'll find out that that's not the truth. So the college kids come in and they're dancing to 60-ish Neil Sedaka type music on the boat. And <laughs> one of the guys in the drunk and stupid falls off the boat, which was ridiculous. And then they come on the island they just continue the dancing <laughs> to Neil Sedaka tunes. Now look up Neil Sedaka because he did a lot of songs in the 60s and 70s, but he made music specifically for this movie, Sting of Death. <laughs> One being the jellyfish dance. I'm not even joking. There's a dance called the jellyfish dance, apparently, in this film, and people are dancing like a jellyfish would if they were a big, giant, mutant monster jellyfish. <laughs> Absolutely hysterical. Oh, my God, I was crying during that scene. So as the kids are partying up, we have this mutant monster man that anytime someone goes in the water, well, he's going to attack and kill him. <laughs> even jumping in a pool in front of everybody at this big party while people are all looking... He attacked this girl and just totally messed her up. <laughs> and then when people went in to save her, well, this guy, he jumped up and was already gone. <laughs> Rigging hysterical. <laughs> so as people are getting knocked off one-on-one, -on -one, one by one, and these kids are just getting annihilated, including a whole, um, a whole boat full of kids. The boat gets, like, <laughs> tipped over, and he kills every one of the kids. <laughs> on the boat as the kids are trying to escape him from the island and try to contact the police to bring him to the island to get this jellyfish monster man. <laughs> he just kills them all. <laughs> Friggin' amazing. <laughs> and so now, Egon and the doctors are trying to find out what's going on, and so the doctors trust Egon. They're like, well, Egon, stay with Karen and protect her. Here's a gun from this big jellyfish monster man. 
and they sent those other kids on the boat to try to get the police, but the boat tips over and <laughs> Jellyfish Monster Man kills them all. <laughs> so as they're trying to figure things out, Egon has something up his sleeve. Something he's been hiding from everybody. That he may be the man who invented this big mutant jellyfish monster man. <laughs> and as he kidnaps Karen and takes her to his underwater lair, <laughs> we'll find out exactly how he did it and what that lair looks like. <laughs> but will Karen die? Will the doctors who are hot on his trail rescue Karen? and kill the jellyfish monster man, you have to find out from watching Sting of Death. This movie is so much fun. Your typical monster in a rubber scuba diving suit with a big trash bag for a head. Oh yeah, fun stuff. And you can see that <laughs> underneath the big jellyfish uh, mask, garbage bag mask, it's really Egon under there. <laughs> and you find out how he turns into this jellyfish monster man. It's absolutely hysterical. <laughs> this movie's a lot of fun. Like I say, all a bunch of college kids are dancing to Neil Sedaka tunes. Uh, you wouldn't catch that nowadays. I don't think many people would be dancing to Neil Sedaka songs uh, in the 2000s. <laughs> Sorry to say, Mr. Sedaka, but it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's a fun film. It's a B-movie, man, from the 60s. Um, the acting is fun. It's total 60s, low-budget B-movie acting. <laughs> With terminology totally from the 60s. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of fun to be had. Anything from something weird video, man, is fun. So spend your disbeliefs and watch Sting of Death and have a good old time. Have a couple of colas with your friends and laugh and sing along <laughs> and dance along to Sting of Death. Fun film. Uh, never will welcome to stay 82 minutes. It's a blast, man. It's a blast. And um, if you watch this as a double with Death Curse of Car 2, it could be a really fun night for you. <laughs> between the two movies about if you watch them as a double feature it'll be like three hours so not that bad <laughs> you go watch Gone with the Wind and Casino and you, you watch three hour films before anyways check out this film it's a blast man um you know based on my review you know, you'll know if you want to see it or not but anyway I'm putting this on the cheeseometer 10 being the highest cheese in the world the best cheese you'll ever gonna get 1 being the worst cheese you're ever gonna get gonna get I give it an 8. I had a blast with this. I laughed my butt off during the whole film. Um, and you will too. <laughs> it's nothing you can take seriously. It's just a whole lot of fun, man. So check it out, Sting of Death. And I'll check you out next Thursday. Check out all the other reviewers. They're all amazing. They do amazing stuff. And they're all love films just like we do. They're all passionate about films like we are. Yeah, man. And next Thursday, <laughs> you never know what I'm going to bring to the table. But something fun and TV-ish, I'm thinking. Why the hell not? Don't forget to check out those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Max. But don't forget to tune into another episode of Body Bags or I <laughs> will send that giant jellyfish monster man <laughs> over to you. <laughs> so you can scratch your eyes out. <laughs> Later and see you next Thursday.